I am now in New Zealand. I am in New Zealand. Now I'm in China. And now I'm in France. Today, I will be showing you guys how to spoof your location on your iPhone and iPad. This works on any version of iOS, including the latest iOS 26. Spin the glow, wherever it lands, that's where we'll go. The first thing you want to do is open up your settings application, privacy and security. Scroll all the way to the bottom, developer mode. Make sure developer mode is enabled. Once you do enable it for the first time, it'll ask you to turn off your device, turn it back on. All right, so now you want to plug your device into your computer. Mac and Windows, it works on both, but on Windows, you do need to make sure that you have iTunes installed to be able to recognize your iPhone. All right, so once you are on your computer, you want to open up your internet browser and the steps are basically the same for Windows and Mac. So I am on Mac. So this link will be down below in the description to 3U Tools. Click on your computer so I have Mac OS. And once you do, it'll go ahead and start the download. But anyways, all you're gonna do is open it up and just go ahead and double click on it. And you will get this right here. Simply go ahead and right click on it and click on open if you're on Mac. And I would just recommend Ruddy Man's Administrator on PC as well. You guys can see on Mac, we do get this message over here. Now, again, this is completely safe. It's just saying this because it's a third party application and Apple likes to control what you install. So to fix this, all we're gonna do is head over to our settings, scroll down until you find privacy and security right there. So it's gonna click on it. And what you wanna do from here is scroll all the way down. You actually see it says three U tools right over here was blocked to protect your Mac. And again, it's completely safe to use. I'm installing it over here on my Mac as well well and i have been using it for a while anyways click on open anyway and it'll go ahead and start the installation process i've gone open anyway again and then you have to type in your password or use touch id and finally and let's go ahead and go through the installation process type in my password and now it's installing really quick and easy oh i don't know if easy is the word on mac dim cookity cook now you can click on close and I'm just gonna move the installation file to the trash because we don't need it anymore. And yeah, okay, so now we are done. Now we can simply go ahead and open up our applications folder and you guys will see 3U tools over there. Again, I'm gonna right click on it and click on open. Anyways, here is 3U tools. If this pops up, welcome to 3U tools because exit out of this. Now let's go ahead and wait for our device to connect. This part does take a little bit of time. I would say like one minute and here we are. So iDevice is connected, authorized to view. On this, we could simply click on okay. There is our device device now super cool it shows a ton of information over here some of which i will probably blur what we're gonna do is either you can click on more on the bottom over here or you can click on toolbox by the top right and you'll be brought to this page now at the bottom of your see virtual location so we can click on this option and we could set our location to wherever we want to be so right now you guys can see we are set in new zealand but you can go anywhere that you want in the globe i'm just gonna show you my location first before we get started just show you guys that i am in the United States. So what we're going to do is go to New Zealand. So I'm just going to close this out. And now it's going to tap on modify virtual location, this blue button over here. It's like that'll ask you to type in our Mac password. Yeah, I was a little weirded out that it had to ask for that as well to set the location. I guess it needs that to be able to run. And there you go. Succeeded in modifying the virtual location. Please reboot the device to restore the real location. Okay. And now guys, the moment of truth. If I go and open up the maps application, I am now in New Zealand. Current location button look at that guys i am in new zealand taking a swim and let's see if i could enable a street view all right there we are so this is the location that we are currently in and just disclaimer for this to keep on working you do have to make sure that your device is connected to your computer once you disconnect it'll go ahead and after a little bit of time revert back to your original location or if you go ahead and turn off your device and turn it back on then it'll also going to reset the location like that as well on mac you just use two fingers on the trackpad to zoom out some locations it'll say it's not able to go there or something like that you just have to be more precise with pinpointing actual areas uh, you can't just do the middle of the ocean unless you find a spot where you can let me know but anyways then modify this location boom just like that it succeeded and i think now we selected somewhere in russia um yeah that's that's mother russia all right so let's hop on over to snapchat take a picture and let's go ahead and set the location filter over here now it officially says that we are in russia this is really cool you can fool your friends into thinking that you are traveling all right so now let's go ahead and try out Instagram. And by the way, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. I just started an Instagram page at Everyday I Tech. Let's go ahead and create a post. And you guys will see that it'll actually go ahead and use the location. If I go to the next page over here, under location, it has Russian text. It is actually using the Russia location, which is really, really cool. 
If I go to add location, I can tap on OK and boom. I'm not sure exactly what that says. You can try this out with any other app that uses location. And yeah, it'll be a, a hit or miss. This is Everyday iTech and I'll catch you guys in the next one.